guys. So, I bought a new food processor. It's the Braun, I think that's how you say it, B-R-A-U-N, Easy Prep. Let's unbox it together. You're probably wondering where I bought this from. I got it from Costco. I did not go to Costco to buy a food processor. When my old food processor broke, it's actually been a couple couple months. I remember during that I was Boxing Day or whatever, I was looking at buying a new food processor on Amazon. I put it in my cart and everything. I don't know what happened. I didn't check out. Last time I went to Costco to buy two things. I went to buy two things, which was not a food processor. I didn't have a food processor on my list. But then I saw this and it was on sale. So I was like, okay, let me pick it up. I've never, I've actually never seen this brand. I've never used this brand, but it kind of looks good. So why not? We'll see. Is it going to be as good as my food processor that lasted 10 plus years? Hopefully. But this is what the box looks like. Let's kind of open it and, and see what we have together. So there is. I think it's called, is it called brown or brown? I don't know. It has this, some sort of warranty protection. There is this. Of course, this is Canada, so there's English and French. And then there is the instruction sheet right here. And I have the, I guess they have it in two colors, so mine should be the silver one, I think. And then we have a lid cover which is like the standard food processor cover looks exactly kind of ish this is different uh, but looks similar to the Kenwood one it actually feels sturdy to be honest like it doesn't feel like plastic which is already a good sign and then we have a door blade so this is exactly like the Kenwood uh, one so this is kind of like a plastic door blade uh, we have the bottom thingy that you insert standard food processor stuff and then what's in here oh the blades so it comes with two set of blades exactly like the, the Kenwood one Kenwood one actually came with two set of blades as well uh, they're for like slicing stuff and they just like different sizes so two set of blades now we have oh it's it's sturdy like I'm actually kind of impressed you know like it doesn't feel I expected it to feel kind of like super plasticky like something you'd be like worried to drop doesn't feel that way and one improvement that I already see from the Kenwood one uh, is that this doesn't feel like something that can easily fall off but I mean I had that one for 10 years too uh, but yeah it feels sturdy I'm not gonna lie like it feels it feels sturdy it feels like, like good stuff um, of course I don't know if I ever had this with my Kenwood one but a scraper you know not mad not mad at it extra unexpected stuff and then the last thing is the base of the food processor Shiny. Looks nice. Like it looks, it looks, you know, it looks nice. It looks, it looks nice. It feels nice. It feels sturdy. Like for the price, uh, I'm not mad. I'm not mad for the price. Like I feel like it doesn't feel like, you know, fancy. <laughs> That's what you remind people call, call it. It doesn't feel like garbage. It, it doesn't feel like too plasticky which is which is a good thing uh so to set it up just put this down where is the lock mechanism put that on slide that in and then put a blade so there's the sharp blade and the door blade um just gonna put this on just because it's open and then you put this on and you remember you have to like lock it Where's the lock mechanism? No, well, maybe that locks right there. That's it. Plug it in. Should work. I think I don't have anything in it, but I'm going to plug it in just to kind of see. 
add a P, is it P that is power or this one? It's something I haven't done right. I need to read the instruction. <laughs> Let me read the instruction manual. So. There you go. Okay, so the issue was I didn't lock this in. So I put it, but it wasn't locked in. So you have to like really lock it in for it to work. That's what I was missing. And then this, of course, is still there. Two lock mechanisms on it. The bottom one and then the top one. And then the P button is the start one. So this is kind of like a chopping thing. Instead of, and then... $120 regular price but it was $25 off so $95 was how much I paid for it 95 Canadian dollars so it would probably be cheaper in USD but do I recommend this like I, I feel like just from the unboxing I would say for the price that I paid for it um yeah I would recommend it okay I'll let you know how it goes when I actually use it for stuff <laughs>